Hey guys, I just got back from the farmer's market and they have this gorgeous wild caught halibut. Very exciting. So those of you who have been with me for a while, you know about my parcel poached fish and you guys asked me a lot to redo that recipe. For you guys who are new to hanging out with me, I'm gonna show you this really cool way of making fish and it doesn't make your house smell or your apartment. I live in New York. My neighbors thank me. Okay, check this out. What you're gonna do is this is just some aluminum foil. And I like to put a little piece of parchment paper. Again, I'm in a rental, so this is the parchment paper that they have here. So I'm gonna lay a little piece down like that. You don't need to use the parchment paper. I like it because the jury's still out on whether cooking directly on aluminum foil is good or bad. So just because I cook for my family, I always like to have a buffer between the aluminum foil and my food. And I love parchment paper. It's so great and super versatile. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our fish right in the middle. Now we're gonna top it with some olive oil, lemon juice, salt, and some herbs. And the place where I'm staying has a fresh lemon tree. Let's go get a lemon. Oh my gosh. Having a lemon tree on this property, oh, so fresh. Where I can just pick a lemon for cooking is amazing. Smell that. Fish can take a lot of salt, in my opinion. So I'm gonna top it with some salt. Put about half a teaspoon of salt on there, maybe a little more. We're gonna top it with some fresh lemon juice or however you guys get your lemons. Grocery store, just um, squeeze some lemon juice. A little trick is you can put your finger under the lemon and squeeze just in case a pit falls out. It'll land in your fingers and then the juice goes through. So that's a little, little trick. Okay, great. And now we're gonna do some olive oil. About a teaspoon, rub it all around. I love this recipe because it's actually really hard to mess up the fish because I kind of, we're gonna make this like little pouch and it kind of just like steams and cooks and it's just such a beautiful way of cooking fish. And it's slightly foolproof. You can't really mess it up. So the other herbs I'm doing are, these are, this is some Italian flat leaf parsley. You can use thyme, you can use oregano, you can use, you know, whatever you guys have in your kitchen, you can use rosemary. I happen to have some fresh Italian flat leaf parsley, which I love. It adds beauty and a little mild flavor, which is really nice. So I love using fresh herbs on everything, as you guys know. Okay, great. Here we go. Now I'm going to wash my hands and we're going to wrap it up. Now we're going to make the little purse. We're gonna take both sides, just like that, okay? Then we're just gonna fold down and then pick up, fold up the edges. Because as this cooks, you have the lemon juice, the olive oil, any liquid from the fish, it's all gonna cook in this beautiful little pouch. Not great. And all the smell just stays trapped in there. Oh, so good. Okay, next. Fold down. Now we're gonna go to the sides. Fold up. So think about you're scooping up to hold all the juices in there. You're like making a little dish. And then it's like a little purse. And what's great is this air up here allows steam to go up and help evenly cook the fish. It's really nice. This is what I love about this recipe. You just cook it on the stove. Usually for this thickness, again, this, because this is a rental, every appliance in a different place cooks differently. At home, this would be 10 minutes. Here, I'll probably check it after eight, but let's do this, check this out. Okay, so I'm gonna start it on a medium high heat and I'm gonna cover it. The slit is like all broken, but hey, it's gonna get the job done. Rentals. Okay, so cover that up. 
As soon as you start hearing it bubbling, I'm going to turn it down to medium low. Let's set a timer and we'll check it in about eight minutes. So you can hear the sizzling. It's been cooking for about three minutes. Let's turn it down to medium low. I'm going to cover it up again. I'm going to keep all the heat in. So we're going to cover it up. So these actually took about 13 minutes because the fillets were so thick, but check this out. This is such a cool way of cooking fish. Ooh. Oh, that's so beautiful. That is so beautiful. I'm gonna top it with some more lemon juice. Whoa, so this is why I love this way of cooking fish. So I'm gonna lift it, ooh, it's hot. I'm gonna lift it out. And let's make sure we don't lose all that stuff. And then check this out, the cleanup. How cool is that? <laughs> That's why I love it. There was like no cleanup. And the house doesn't smell. You have a gorgeous piece of protein. Now we're gonna try it. Guys, look at that. It's perfectly cooked. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so good. Lunchtime. I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you know when I put up another one and I'll see you guys soon.